a long-term solution. Of course, we'll have to work at it. Having said that, Mr. Berman, the buzzword these days is clean energy, green energy. But if the world's population is not stabilized, can clean energy or green energy alone be effective? Well, I would say partly, yes. Clean energy, once we do it, it will have a great effect on global warming and clim climate change. And I can tell you that a country like Germany, which is already having 70% of its energy, is from renewable sources. And that's what we should be working on as a first step uh, towards uh, affecting climate change. Mr. Gupta, you just heard uh, what Mr. Berman had to say. Would you like to react to his comments? Now, renewable energy, 175 gigawatt, we are going to achieve in 2022. That's what the Prime Minister has said, and we are very well going to achieve it. 40% of the total installed capacity coming from renewable by 2030, mm. there again we are over, we are going to overachieve it. Honorable Prime Minister uh, had said that when we are in the 100th year of our independence, that is in 2047, mm. we will be fulfilling and we will be complying with the, what globe wants, the, the world wants from us. On that note, let me also get in a reaction, a quick reaction from uh, Dr. Rajivan. Dr. Rajivan, what do you have to say about the importance and significance of clean and green energy? Uh, I, I fully agree with him that we, uh, India should really move on to more and more clean energy, green energy. And uh, India, as he correctly said, that India's commitment is very strong and uh, the progress is also much faster than what we have committed. And uh, so we should uh, start reduce as uh, we should cut down the fossil fuel as much as possible and move to and in India there is a lot of scope in terms of solar as well as wind. There's a lot of scope and a lot of potential. I think we should achieve that kind of potential and we should move uh, move uh, more and more clean and right. green energy. That's, Fair uh, enough. That's